ज्ञानतिरंधस्य ज्ञानंजन शलाखया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वदंति श्री कृष्णा चैतन्या प्रभु निनंद श्रीयाद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदिगौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आई रिसीव अ वेरी वंडरफुल कोट about two days back on my whatsapp i don't remember from where it came but it said <clears throat> that when you when you love something in the world or some person in the world too much uh, what you can say overwhelmingly we love somebody or we love some things or we are attached to some things invariably the providence or the prakruti or you can say the lord who is supreme controller he takes away all those things from us so that we can always remain attached to him only love him only this is a very wonderful realization because all our life our senses are always busy in trying to please themselves so eyes want to see beautiful things and skin wants to touch beautiful atmosphere and tongue wants to taste so many beautiful palatable dishes and tongue wants to speak so many things ear wants to hear praises or beautiful things pleasant things to the ears and mind wants to accept and desire so many things that will give pleasure and in the process of our quest of satisfying ourselves when we get some response favorable to our self we get attached and that attachment could be a thing like money or attachment to a can be a, a person which could be our son or our husband or a wife or boyfriend or whatever or a teacher but the situation uh, in the world is such that we do get attached as a natural consequence to all these uh, attractive things and another funny thing is that whatever you get attracted to others may not feel anything about that <laughs> others may feel absolutely why this person is attracted to that this person or this thing so much is so stupid you may think but for the person who is attached it's the most precious thing it's the most lovable thing it's the most faultless thing in life and then by the will of the providence and by the power of the time that thing is taken away from us it is not the cruelty of the providence it's the nature of the material world that nothing stays here for long ashashvatam everything has a beginning and everything has an end it is true with bad things and it is true with good things even if your attraction or attachment to a very good thing it is going to end one day if it is attraction is to a very bad thing which is not good for you even that is going to end one day so why is those who are wise when they lose their attraction or lose their attachment or lose the person whom they are attached to from their life their realization is oh the lord wants me to love him only because lord knows that my real welfare is in loving him so lord does not want me to get uh, divided in our attention or our attachment the lord wants to uh lord wants me to be 100% attached to him 
अनन्यस्चिंतय मां योजन परुपासते तेषां निध्याभियुक्ता योगक्षेम वहाम्यहम द लॉर्ड वॉन्ट्स टू टेक यू मी एव्हरीबडी इन हिज लॅब पर्मनंटली अँड टेक अस अवे फ्रॉम द लॅब ऑफ माया ऑल्सो पर्मनंटली अँड वी आर सिंग ओ ओ येस येस नो 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 येस 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 नो 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 सम मोर टाईम माय लॉर्ड प्लीज लेट मी एन्जॉय दिस आय कम टू यू माय लॉर्ड बट लेट मी रिलीज दिस आयटम रिलीज दिस पर्सन लेट मी ड्वेल इन सम पॉईंट सम टाईम बट लॉर्ड इज से नो 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 आय लव्ह यू व्हेरी मच and in the tussle in the tussle time is up ha huh? because a film show in theater is up for maybe 3 hours and after 3 hours the film show is over and you have to get out of the theater you can't say no 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 i want to sit one more half minute 10 minutes more no film show is over now <laughs> so like that everything is a film show here it has to begin sometimes in an exciting manner and it has to end sometimes in maybe sad manner or okay manner or very painful manner but it has to end it will end but the realization of people who are not god conscious they are just beating their chest getting depressed getting frustrated thinking of committing committing suicide and ending their life and life is useless and void and empty this is the feelings of people who are not spiritual and people who are even little spiritual or nicely spiritual or greatly spiritual they will take the conclusion that whenever i attempt to love something lord will disconnect me from that in the course of time the lord will take away that thing that person from my life sometime and then <clears throat> what is left is lord if at all we are wise and then we say okay my lord i love you you are my eternal lover everything else is has a beginning and end everything has a time time period or time slot but your existence is a eternal time slot always open door come and love me any time you want so this realization is very sweet very deep and very profound you know so a good lesson for us also that we are just hopping skipping and jumping from one object to another for our love for our attachment to finding our satisfaction but the day will decide that yes the final object of my love which will give me complete satisfaction is my dear lord and why i am jumping here and there wasting my time filing my time away trying this trying that and everything is ditching me one after another you my closest relationships are also you know showing me that they are not the eternal source of my satisfaction although i love them i do my duty towards them but the real source of my inner satisfaction is the lord only and because i am attached to my lord my other duties and relationships and loves are meaningful so let us root ourselves in the lord and then peripherally as duty as genuine duty and affection we can do our attachments and love to so many other objects but if the relationship that we have in this world is not rooted in lord then we have to cry one day so to make the relationship with the lord deeply rooted in the lord i mean relationship in the world to be deeply rooted in the lord we have to chant hari krishna we have to chant the name of the lord i mean some way has to be there no how to get attached how to get involved this is there is some method you cannot just say why prabhu ji you are always telling hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna what do i do i am i am convinced about it there is no other way no other way no other way kalav nasti eva nasti eva nasti eva gatiranna tha there is no other way no other way no other way i am not saying that i have heard it and i am convinced about it also by my experience so what do i say and what will i say to say the same thing made sound boring made it sound repetitive made it sound why it is so fact is fact if sugar is sweet it is sweet you can't make it bitter or salty this is a fact so when we chant hari krishna we i have said it hundreds of times till now when we chant hari krishna we come to know about the truth as truth till the time we are feeling the truth as falsehood and when we come krishna conscious chat hari krishna we do we know and we come to know that the truth is truth and falsehood is falsehood we can clearly differentiate 
So the truth is, when we take the name of the Lord, we understand the reality that the only object which is lovable in this world, worthy of our love, is our dear Lord Sri Krishna. And that is why with this full understanding, we chant Hare Krishna. It's feeling, with understanding, with depth of realization, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Thank you so much. And thank you for that unknown person who sent me this beautiful statement. I'm very grateful so that my life is enriched with that beautiful statement. If there is any question, you can ask. <clears throat> Yes, Prabhuji, Hare Krishna, Dhanavad Pranam. I have a question, Prabhuji. Yeah, yeah. Highlighter, please. Yes, you ask question. You don't worry. Yeah, yeah. Prabhuji, uh, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that, that what you have, I always preserve it. And what you lack, I always provide it. So how yes. is this? What you have is spiritual. That you don't forget. Preservation is only possible about spiritual things. Your money, your relationship in this world, your property, your education are all bodily connected situations and things. They are not promised here for preservation. What is going to be preserved is your spiritual things which you have achieved and which you have cultivated. These things are not, we are not talking about our family relationships, our worldly money, our worldly education, worldly activities, they are not to be, they are not going to be preserved anyways because the power of time is going to destroy everything. So what is Ananya Chintayantumam, Yogakshemam Vahamyam? All that is connected with the Lord will be preserved. All that you lack in the process of the achieving the love of the Lord uh, will be provided by the Lord. Lord is not promising that I will preserve your money I will preserve your wife and husband and children. They are all subjected to the power of time and influence of time. They will be taken away. But what will remain with you, what will be preserved in you is your devotion. And whatever is lacking in that devotion, the Lord will provide. Our karmas are controlling our uh, uh, accumulation or no accumulation, richness or poverty, happiness and sorrow. Why, why Lord has to interfere in that? Lord is interested in taking you back home, back to Godhead. So whatever is there on that path, he will preserve. Whatever you lack on that path, he will provide. And you will see that finally, whether happiness or sorrow, he will bring you back to him. Hare Krishna. Any other question is there? Thank you very much, everybody. Um, I'm sorry that I got late because of the internet issue, but nonetheless, I could do my service. I'm grateful for that. Hare Krishna.